Hey, welcome guys, my name is Samson and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of the software called Driver Booster. So if you don't know what Driver Booster is, it's uh, basically a software that helps you to search uh, or should I say scan your computer for missing drivers and helps you to automatically update those drivers and if you're a window user you understand the importance of why you need to regularly have your drivers your system drivers to be updated because the operating system actually gets updated i'm talking about windows pc and so for you to be able to use the software that you usually use on your computer and even your hardware is like your mouse and you know the internet uh, they, they all need their drivers to be updated as often as possible because this is the way your computer is able to communicate with whatever software or hardware that you have installed. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this particular software, Driver Booster, and uh, on their website, they have the paid version and also the free version. So I'm going to be reviewing both and I'm going to be trying it out on my Windows PC. Uh, we're going to see how it works. We're going to see the pros and the cons. We're going to see the limitations with the free version and also what advantage do you have having a pro version so you can actually decide if you should go for the free version or you should go for the pro version. So the free version, we're going to see all the limitations. And also in this video, we are going to be answering some questions uh, that a lot of people actually ask on the Google search page. If you go to the search page, you'll see that uh, there's the people also ask question. We're going to be answering those questions for you so that you can be confident enough to know if you should actually go for this software so right now i just have this software downloaded and i'm going to install it but i'm just going to skip this for now because we just want to try only driver booster so we're just going to wait for it to install and also we can see that the installation process is going really fast which is pretty good and so now we have the icon on the desktop i'm just going to move it right here and just wait for it to complete installing. So basically, there are some other third-party applications that does the same thing to uh, you know, help you to update your drivers. And the reason why a lot of people usually go for these third-party uh, softwares to help them to update their drivers is because most people actually don't know how to manually do that. And of course, if you're someone who doesn't really know your way around a computer, it's just, uh, I think, more advantage to just go for a third-party software. So there are a lot of so there are a lot of software out there. For example, we have Driver Easy, we have Driver Fix, we have uh, Driver Max, and so much more. I'm going to drop my link in the uh, description box below so you can uh, get you know this particular software. And of course, there are also a uh, link for you to get some other software. But let's try this one out. So as you can see, you just finished installing. So I'm going to click No Thanks. And so you see right away, it's uh, showing us the scan now button for us to scan the PC to see uh, what drivers are outdated. So let's just click it, scan now. And let's see how long it's gonna take for it to scan. Okay, the interface look pretty simple. Okay, you can see all the options out there. At the top, you can see I'm using the trial version. So I'm going to be trying out this trial version to see what is available for you right off the bat and so it just finished scanning and it's saying that one outdated device driver and 13 not installed game drivers so for those of you who actually uh, like to play games on your windows pc i think this would, this would be uh, important for you also if we scroll down you can see it's showing us all the uh, drivers that are up to date uh, at the bottom while at the top we can see all the drivers that uh, needs to be updated so it shows the name of the driver and also the current and the status of this particular driver is not installed and you can see also the build number of the version number of this driver as well as the date it was released so now let's see some other options so right here you can see the buy button where all you need to do is to enter the license key if you have one and uh, if you come to this place, you see it has some other menu. Let's go to the settings and see what is available there. Okay, in the settings, we can see different options. First option, the general. Just talk about how you can uh, uh, 
uh, you know, manage this particular software on your Windows PC, for example, to minimize the system tray when program is closed. So turn up the program's animation effect recommended for low configured PC, you see, which is actually good because sometimes um, some of these uh, animations from the softwares, they usually use a lot of resources to run. So if you're someone who is low on PC resources, you can turn this off. So skip user account control warning. And also uh, we can see right here, it has lots of language, languages for you to uh, use the program on. Lots of languages and uh, choice for you. So also there's uh, this button for transparency. I don't know if you're going to need that, but it's there for you so you can also try it out. And if you screw down, you see it shows you the location where this uh, drivers are going to be downloaded to and it's going to be in the download folder which is especially useful if you like to do things manually which i'm going to show you in a few minutes so the next here is a scan okay you can scan automatically when driver booster is launched i don't know if you need that me i just like to uh, scan manually if i know that something is actually wrong because sometimes uh, when you realize that your pc is kind of uh, lagging or maybe uh, frequent crashes and some other problem that is making it uh, almost impossible for you to use your PC then you can decide to uh, you know try out and see if maybe one of the drivers they are outdated so you can just come here manually and just look for those missing drivers and you download that so you can see scan updates for game drivers which is already uh, ticked in uh, on my software to automatically scan newly connected devices which is important, I think. I think, and also we can see scan priority for device drivers, latest first or stability first. So it depends on what your preference is. To so obtain the best device performance, game experience, and the latest features, and the other one is stability first. Obtain the most stable device performance, along with more security. So there's also the silent mode. Okay, auto silent mode. And you know you can uh, schedule when when you want these uh, driver to uh, search for drivers, and we can see right here automatically update drivers while the system is idle comes only with a pro version, which I'm going to show us in just a few minutes. So now let's go to the next and see the next to see uh, the boost. So basically the boost comes with a pro version for game game boosting. And also this system optimization, I believe is talking about, you know, let's click it and see. So what it does basically is that it scans your PC to see, uh, you know, what junk files are actually trying to slow your PC down. And this is quite important because most times we have a lot of duplicate files, we have a, we have a lot of, you know, remnant uh, files from uh, some programs that we uninstalled thinking Maybe everything was removed from the PC, but some, some things were left over and those things are actually uh, making your PC very slow. So this is especially useful if you're actually having that problem with your PC being slow. But the thing is that it also shows you uh, that for you to actually optimize the speed of your PC, you need to install another of their software called Advanced System C uh, Care which uh, clean and optimize PC with one click, speed up your PC up to 200% faster. That's a big claim. Say uh, boost internet up to 300% faster. So if that is actually something that is a problem with you, right now I'm not having that kind of problem. If that is something that is a problem with you, you can also decide to install it, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to show you. So uh, for people that are actually interested in uh, playing games with your Windows PC, I think the best uh, course of action for you is to go for the pro version because that is only uh, where the game booster is available at the moment. So also let's see the tools, say so face common problems, backup and restore. This is very useful because sometimes, uh, sometimes the software can download some very important uh, drivers, but those drivers may not be compatible with your, uh, with your PC which is very important because uh, you will need to restore it back. If you actually use the normal Windows uh, driver updaters, there's an option for you to roll back to the previous version 
if the newest uh, driver update is not compatible yet with your system. So this is especially useful. So the next one is to fix device errors. Okay, so if you're having problem with your device, you can actually use this. Let's see what it does. So this tool, is, this tool help detect error codes in device manager and repair them. So if I click the detect button, I say it's going to, to you know, search and see if there's any hardware you installed on your PC and see if the, you know, if there's any errors and then it's, I believe you try to fix them. So fix no sound, fix network failures. This is, I think, uh, a very good option, I think fix bad resolution offline driver update i really don't know how this works but i think this will be interesting clean unplug device data so five device let's see what it's saying this tool help cleans all unplugged device data on your computer please click scan to check so let's see let's scan it and see what it does what it picks up wow interesting this is really good actually so it's showing me right now that Unplugged devices data can be cleaned up, which is actually a, a very good thing because it's going to optimize your PC speed. Okay, some things need to be cleaned up. So my monitor, printer, media, and all those other things. So I just need to click the clean button, but I'm not going to do that right now for this video. And yeah, you can see your system information. So if you click it, you it's just going to show you, you know, everything about your system. So we're not going to do that right now. So let's go to the last action center. So yeah, you can see it's, it basically shows you uh, some other programs by the same company, iOrbit. So make PC run safer and faster with the following programs recommended by iOrbit. So if you're interested, you can actually get uh, all these uh, products all from the same uh, manufacturer, from the same uh, company, iOrbit. And uh, if it's especially useful for you, you see iPhone screen, re screen recorder, the advanced system care to boost your PC speed, iOBIT malware fighter for your antivirus, iOBIT uninstaller, iOBIT software updater, smart defragmentation. So now this is everything you get with the free version. Let's click update. You may need to disable your security software temporarily if it blocks the driver installation. Like I said, it usually gets some drivers that are not uh, digitally signed by Microsoft, which is uh, something we need. And that is the reason why it's telling you that you need to turn off your, um, your security protection so that your security does not think it's a virus or a malware and deletes it. So that is what it does. So I'm gonna click OK. So Windows system restore is not enabled. Please click OK to enable it. So I'm just going to click OK. So you see it's showing you how, how many percent is installing all this right now, but I don't really want to do this right now, but let's see. And yeah, you can click to automatically reboot your PC. Okay. After all the drivers are installed, but I'm not going to install any of those drivers right now because this video is just for uh, review purposes. So now let's click and check out the pro version. So your driver boosted trial will end in six days. During the past one day, driver boosted trial try has fixed one driver issue for you. Buy now to keep your device drivers up to date. What will, will you benefit from the pro? So here are a list of the features that comes with the pro version. Quickly fix the mixing, updated, and problematic driver issues. Have the priority to get the game drivers and game ready drivers, which I mentioned earlier that you know the game boost comes with a pro version only and uh, it's actually the license key for the pro version can be used for up to three uh, PCs so uh, maybe you have someone who uh, also wants to uh, you know boost their PC you can actually split the cost to buy the license for this software pro version so uh, luckily for me I have a license key so I'm just going to enter it so I entered my license key and everything is now activated. So if we click on the update button, I'm very sure, you know, we have lots of options now. Auto update, this can be toggled on. Auto backup also can be toggled on, which is really good. And also we can see the game boost is uh, available for us right now. So I just clicked it and, you know, it's boosting for say apps, service stops 11. So what it does is that 
install our background services, I, I think, and also releases some RAM for us to use. So 7.66 megabytes was released. So probably if you have more things running on your PC, this is actually going to help a lot to turn off those things so that you know your games can have a lot of resources to run. And um, we see basically the pro version just gives you more options and more things to play around with. Here we can see, let's go to the settings. Now everything is unlocked. There's a lot of things you can do now driver so basically you get access to almost everything which is really good so what is my verdict for this uh, particular software i would say uh, it is really useful it has tons of features that uh, that i believe are very useful um, it is not uh, a virus at all as a lot of people think so there are some questions that people ask you know so people also ask if you go on google and type driver booster and come down here you see some questions like does driver booster actually work i believe yes it does it does work also you know you can use the trial version which is limited but of course you'll be able to update one driver at a time and most of the things on the trial version has to be done manually because uh, you know driver booster uh, actually had it the best feature in their pro version and of course uh, the game uh, the game users, people who use a PC for gaming, actually need to get a pro version for them to actually have any benefit from that software. So is Java Booster a virus? Obviously not. It's not a virus. It's a very good software. Is Java Booster really free? Yes, like I said, they have the trial version which is free for uh, a couple of days. But I think for you to really benefit and you know get the most out, out of this software, you need to go for the pro version which costs $29 and that amount can be split and you know like if you have some like two other people who also need this software the two of you can actually split the money and get the software for $29 and split it three ways which I believe it is the wise thing to do how much the driver booster pro cost like I said it costs $29.95 uh, $29 but I've actually included a link in the description below if you use my link You'll be able to get a discount uh, on this product so uh, just check the link in the description box below for uh, a link to getting the pro version at a special discount price is driver booster worth buying definitely i think um, out of all the other uh, driver updates out there i'll say driver booster really comes on top because it's really intuitive it's easy to use all you need to do is just scan and update and also if you're a game user we just showed you how you know all you need to do is just go to the boost place and then you see it is just obvious there you can just click it you don't need to be uh, a tech uh, know it all or a nerd even though you don't know your way around a computer it is the easiest thing to use and it helps you to get all your drivers up to date and also if your system is not running properly after using this particular driver updater you can always recover or roll back to the previous state which is the reason why you have the backup so what else uh, some other questions let's see so what is the best driver updater software from windows 10 there are, there are a ton of driver updater out there but like i said i've tested this and you've seen how it works and you and you actually know that it actually works and it's pretty fast it's uh, i don't think it uses a lot of resources on your pc uh, to actually work and is there a free driver updater from Windows 10 well you can try out some couple others out there but uh, I think you can also use this it's actually quite uh, affordable if you think about it and you can use it for all the, up to three pieces like I said earlier what is best free driver updater software uh, my personal opinion I would say driver booster is really up there but I'm going to do another video review or another uh, software so you can see for yourself and make your decision and that software is going to be driver easy and so that's it for this video guys if it was helpful for you please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you like to see more videos like this and whatever software you, you would like me to review next just put it in the uh, comment section down below this is going to be the first uh, 
product review video on this channel so if you like to see more of this kind of video please uh, it's really going to be helpful if you uh, you know just subscribe click the subscribe button and also the notification bell and you're going to get notified when i release new uh, product review video or tech related videos so you don't miss out so uh this is all for the video thank you very much for watching to the end and i'll see you guys in the next video